think, Ellie, think. There has to be some way to get back in. Ellie Trout. Maxie, hi. Shut up. I know what you're doing, you sneaky little bitch. Dr. Westbourne called you? Yeah, she called me. What makes you think you can hack into my personal medical files? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm really sorry, Maxie. I know it was a serious violation of confidentiality to breach you the think? I might have you fired. Maxie, please just let me explain. Explain what? You violated a hospital policy, not to mention my trust? You're my roommate. I thought you understood what I'm going through. My best friend is missing, and I'm carrying her child, which is incredibly stressful during a time I'm supposed to be avoiding stress. I know. I was just trying to help you. Help me? By what? Playing secret agent, lurking around, listening in on my private conversations, hacking into my medical records? I realize it was not the most honest way of going about if things. If you knew it was wrong, Ellie, why did you do it? I admit it. I committed a serious infraction, but I want you to know that I did it for the greater good. I am concerned that something is wrong with that baby. My baby. Dante and Lulu's child. Yes, their child. You're withholding important information about the child. Stop it. Nothing is wrong with this baby. Nothing is wrong with me. The problem is you. You're making something out of nothing. Oh, really? Then why did Dr. Westbourne feel the need to call you and tell you what I was doing? Because you were going through my private medical records, and I deserve to know about that. I don't believe you. Well, I'm sorry that you were the one caught hacking into the hospital computer, yet you accused me of lying. I think Dr. Westbourne called you because she was concerned that I would find out about whatever it is that the two of you are hiding. How many times do we have to go over this? The secret was not about this baby. It was about Dr. Westbourne's. I knew she was pregnant with Patrick's child, and I wanted to protect Patrick, so I asked my dad to make sure that Britt didn't have her big announcement, but that was all ruined when she spilled the beans at the nurse's ball. So you're telling me this whole thing is about Dr. Westbourne's baby? <sighs> so we have to go over this. Yes, the secret was about Dr. Westbourne's baby. Maxie, I distinctly heard you say that I mistakenly thought the secret was about Dr. Westbourne's baby, in which she responded, and I quote, well, we both know that's not true, so forgive me, but it's quite clear to me that the secret is not about Dr. Westbourne's baby, it's about the baby that you're carrying. You also, so you were eavesdropping on yet another one of my private conversations. To make it worse, a consultation with my doctor. Not that it matters. You misunderstood. There's no way you heard what you think you did. Maxie, I was delivering results, and when I opened the door, I heard you and Dr. Westbourne in the middle of a very intense conversation. One which I've already recounted, but I'm happy to repeat as many times as you need to hear it. You said, Ellie, I don't that care would... what you think you heard, Ellie. You were wrong. No, I wasn't. Just admit it, Maxie. Something is wrong with that poor fetus, and at some point, you're going to have to come clean to Dante and Lulu. You don't know what you're talking about. I know what I heard. Except I never said it. I don't know, maybe <clears throat> when you were hit by that car, more than just your legs were damaged. <sighs> wow. Even you are not that callous, Maxie. It's obviously just a deflection because you don't want to have to tell me what you really want to say. If you're done wasting my time, I'm incredibly late for work. I know you're hiding something, Maxie. <sighs> you and Dr. Westbourne. I know I'm incredibly late, but I have a very good explanation. Who are you? I'm the new Maxi. Excuse me for just one second. Why is there a new Maxi out there? Well, isn't it obvious? The old Maxi never showed up at work. So I fired her and got a new one. Please do not fire me and replace me with the new Maxi. I went to the floating room and got your breakfast just like you requested. You do realize it's dinner time. I can explain that. I'm. Sure you can, but you don't need to. Okay, I, I was on my way to work this morning, and I stopped by Dante and Lulu's house, and I found out that Lulu was missing. I thought she'd been found at Cassadine Island. She was, but now she's lost again, and Dante is frantic. Anyway, I still went to the floating rib to get you your breakfast, so you didn't think I flaked on my first day of work. Well, Maxie, that's exactly what you did. Okay, but when, when I went to the floating rib, they had found Lulu's engagement ring in this bowl of peanuts, and I didn't really know what to think, because why would Lulu ditch her jewelry? Well, naturally, you were not concerned about showing up at work or calling and saying there was an emergency so HR could find you a sub. Okay, yes, the HR thing was an oversight, and I'm sorry, but I can explain that, too. I'm sure you can. While I was at the floating rib, I found out that this annoying person who's been sticking their nose into my personal business was at it again, but this time in a much more vicious way, so I had to go to the hospital and put the kibosh on that. Maxie, I offer you a rare, very rare and precious opportunity to redeem yourself in a career that you swear is your passion. It is my passion. And what did you do? You showed up eight and a half hours late with a soggy breakfast sandwich talking about peanuts and hospitals. Do I want excuses? Do I want explanations? No, Kate. No. Connie. Connie. What I want, what I need, Maxie, is a first assistant who can do her job. 
I know, and, and I, I can do my job, so please do not replace me with the new Maxie. The old Maxie really loves her job and is very good at it, and I am the best first assistant that Kate has ever had, or not Kate, the, the very demanding woman that you used to be, who's not that different from the very demanding woman you are now. The thing is, you need me. Not as much as I might need you, but you need me. So please, don't fire me. Just give me another chance. Okay, I'm gonna give you another chance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You won't regret it. Um, I'll get your and calendar together. Because I have to do something right now that can't wait, and I cannot leave that poor girl in charge of my desk. Can you start right now? Of course. Uh, right. Where will you be in case anyone asks? Never mind. I'll just tell them you're in a meeting. I uh, I have to go to Pentonville to see Johnny. Johnny Zakara? Are you still married to him? Yes. Technically, I don't know. Maybe that's what this is about. He said it was important, so I'm gonna go and see what it is. But take this time to. Put this office into some semblance of order. Thank you. You can count on me. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. You're fired. Uh, she's using Connie now, but she still has the Kate Howard flair. You are at the top of her call list, Betty. She's just been dragged into a meeting. Oh, I'm glad you got the flowers and that you left them. Yeah, that was all Connie. She just adores you. I'll let her know. Ciao, Fetty. But you sent the flowers. I just watched you order them. Listen, New Maxie. Wait, what is your name? Oh, Gwyneth. Listen, Gwyneth. First rule of a first assistant, you only take credit when things are screwed up. Anything that happens that's good, big or small, that's all Kate. I mean, Connie. Thanks for the tip. Not that it matters, I just got fired. Well, you can't take Connie too seriously. She hires and fires people all the time. Like you? Yeah, exactly like me. And see, I got my job back. But you're probably not gonna get your job back because that's my job now. Don't worry, I'm sure Connie will be able to find something for you. So oh, maybe you can sub for me when I have my baby. You're having a baby? Yeah. You know, sometimes I forget when things are going wrong on a day like today and then to top it all off, all this stress is making my stomach feel weird. But you're not worried, are you, little baby? You know I have your best interests at heart. Ooh, what was that? Is something wrong? Well, I don't know, I felt kind of like a little flutter or something. You have butterflies in there? Ooh. Oh my God. I think I just felt my baby move. <laughs>